Episode 48, Are You Accountable? Awaken the leader inside. Follow the path of leadership. Never give up. Never stop trying. Get up. Believe in yourself. Not every day is going to be easy, but you've got to challenge yourself. You need courage. Be ready. Stop waiting for it to happen. Go make it happen. Harness the power within. You were destined to be a leader. Follow the path of leadership. Awaken the leader inside. Episode 48. Are you accountable? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Dave Rubel-Kavan. I'm your host here at Awaken the Leader Inside, a show dedicated to your leadership journey. Remember, you are never alone. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode. And if this is your first time listening in, I appreciate you guys finding the podcast. Today, I want to dig a little bit deeper into a specific value. And we talked about the seven values of leadership. And the one that I really want to dig into, because I think it's kind of, it's happening to uh, me right now and to my team team. It's been a hot topic that we've been talking about. So I wanted to share some of the learnings that, that I've had myself and then also with my team as we've been talking a lot about accountability. So let me just paint the picture for you guys. Accountability is one of the most critical components and com- critical values that you will ever need in your in your journey as a leader. And to kind of give you an idea of what accountability really is, you got to understand how it actually functions. And one of the ways is actually directly with your accountability, your ability to be accountable for situations in your leadership, uh, your team's performance, and overall results. And so most of us are comfortable uh, with with that, or I shouldn't say comfortable, we're used to having to be accountable for our own actions. And, and there's always consequence, right? Whether it's good, bad, indifferent. I mean, there's going to be some consequence for, for accountability. And the longer that you work at accountability, you'll start to perform at a higher level. You'll start to be more proactive versus reactive. And But it's a necessary part of your leadership growth. And a lot of people struggle with accountability accountability in the beginning because it's just simply hard. And there's no way around this, you guys. This is probably by far one of the most difficult values that you'll experience is because it's it's really hard to look in the mirror sometimes, especially in the beginning of your journey and, and, and acknowledge that you are failing or acknowledge that you're not accepting responsibility for a failure even if you wasn't it wasn't all completely because of you but you were involved with the team and i think accountability is difficult because we want to shift responsibility onto someone else either because we don't want to deal with consequences or simply because it's just easier to kind of push it over there right but i know that the other portion of accountability that a lot of leaders struggle with is actually holding their teams accountable. And that's holding them to the expectations that they need to deliver results, that they need to perform at a high level, and that they have to be consistent. And so both of these things make this value somewhat difficult because if you're not being accountable for yourself to begin with, it's extremely hard to hold others accountable or vice versa. If you don't hold them accountable, ultimately you're going to be held accountable for the lack of performance. So let's just take a deeper dive into this. So I know like I will tell you in, in all transparency, you know, I'm struggling a little bit with accountability right now because I focus a lot on teamwork and and working together and building trust. Well, sometimes the results don't get there because of that, because we're harnessing that value because I, I see that it's important for morale right now. But at the end of the day, results are black and white. Like, did you get the result and are you accountable for it? Now, I'm always accountable for my failures. I have no issue with saying, you know, I dropped the ball. I have no issues with saying, hey, poor planning on my my end or maybe I misdirected the team. I have no issue with that. What we've been struggling with right now in, in, you know, with my team is not only me holding them accountable, 
but the the leaders themselves holding their teams accountable. So you can see that this is an equation that is not going to work right now. And, and granted, there's circumstances behind it. But at the end of the day, we just want to look at the black and white. Did we get the result? And the answers are no. So for me, I had to level set with my leadership team and saying, hey, you know what? I haven't been holding you accountable because I've been pushing you. We've been spending time talking about development. But at the end of the day, you know, it's been 30, 60 days and there's still no change. And now it's time to talk about your accountability. And that's difficult. You know, if you're a leader that has a, a, a challenge holding others accountable, you got to find a way to be honest and transparent. And so I'll kind of share the conversation. It's like, look, you know, I believe in you. I have a lot of um, trust in your leadership. But right now, at this moment, we are failing because one, I didn't hold you accountable to the expectations. And two, because I didn't do that, you're not holding others to that. So let's look at what has led to that. And sometimes as we, you know, I talk with my leaders, we all find reasons as to why. You know, there's, you know, scheduling, staffing, you know, uh, people resign. I mean, that stuff's going to happen no matter where you're at. But at the end of the day, did we set the expectations for, for the team? And then did we hold them accountable to it? And accountability doesn't always necessarily have to be, you know, let's put them on action plans and fire them. It's about having that conversation. Hey, John, you know, I talked to you a couple of weeks ago. We, we came up with a game plan. It's been two weeks. I've seen no difference. So what is going on right now? Like, can you give me an explanation and then figure out, OK, this needs to change. So what are you going to do about it? And we kind of shift the responsibility onto the associates to actually make decisions. Now, that hasn't converted into some type of action plan yet, but it sure as heck has drawn the line that, look, you got to be accountable for your performance right now, and I'm going to challenge you to deliver the results. And when I think about, you know, even just going through this recently, it's kind of, you know, it happens every couple of months. We lose focus, and then we kind of have to realign our accountability together. That's kind of normal. That's going to happen to you as a leader. But I think what a lot of people struggle with is really having those honest, transparent conversations about this is where we're at. Uh, black and white. We all know there's excuses, there's reasons. I get it. And I'm the first one to say, you know what? It doesn't matter. It's black and white. I'm failing right now. We've got to teach others to do that. And if you're struggling with that, you got to really dig into the why. Because I'm going to tell you something that I learned throughout my career. You're not going to get anywhere uh, throwing excuses. You're not going to get anywhere, you know, with your own development and growth if you if you want to lay blame on other people. At the end of the day, your career and the results you're responsible for is a direct reflection of your leadership. And the quicker that you've come to accept that, you'll start to learn that sometimes things happen that are out of your control, but that does not change that you are still accountable for it. That's the hard part. That's the hard part because you're like, well, you know, this happened, this happened. Your goal as a leader is to figure out how to prevent these things from happening in the future or when they do happen to be able to react quickly to stop the bleeding to stop the 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 failures and to stop you know the team from failing that is your responsibility as a leader and that is the most difficult thing to do is because you have to look at yourself first how did i let this happen now every time i failed in my career i will be honest with you i have sat down and asked myself how did this happen how did my leadership fail me and allow this to happen? And the more you do this, the easier it gets. But the first couple of times, it's going to be hard because we want to lay blame, right? But the more you look into the mirror and say, you know what? I chose not to hold my team accountable because I sympathized for them. I chose not to hold my team accountable because I knew we were being over, you know, whelmed right now and bombarded, so I didn't hold them accountable for it. 
Uh, I chose not to hold them accountable simply because they're a great guy. They're a great person. They're good. They're usually doing good. So I looked the other way. That kind of stuff happens. You know, sometimes we just we remember what people have done for us in the past. And so sometimes we we give them the pass and then sometimes it comes back to haunt us. <laughs> uh, that's happened before. Trust me. And it's probably happened to all of you guys out there. So I just want you to think about that when we're looking into accountability right now in your career, if you're struggling, let's take a look at that first. You know, are you accountable for your own results? Are you accountable that you're searching for solutions? And if you are and you come up with solutions and your team's not delivering, then when do you get to the point where you challenge them and hold them accountable? So this can be, I'll be really honest with you guys. For me, it's kind of like you got a level set. Let's just put it all on the table and let's talk about it. And then I need to see results in the next, you know, it could be 30 days. That's kind of a usual one. If it's something big, like a huge metric that we got to move, you got 30 days, but every single week, I'm going to check in with you to see our progress and to help course correct or to challenge your accountability again if you've chosen not to get on course and deliver the results. So I know this one is challenging, you guys. I know it really is. And this is something that I want you guys to share with me. Share it with us on Atley Nation, our Facebook group. Tell me about times that you're going through in difficulty with accountability so we can kind of open up a conversation about accountability and share what we're all going through. This is by far the most difficult value if you're new to it or if you've hit a wall and you can't see it anymore, that sometimes the accountability is is lacking. And there's always easy ways to ask about this. And that's asking your direct leader, asking for feedback, talk to your mentor. You know, those are ways that you can really quickly measure whether your accountability is on, on target or not. But I want to tell you guys, this one is challenging. This one's challenging for me, but the more you become objective to your leadership, it's really easy to snap out of it. Like it really is. It's like, you know what? No more. We're going to get on on course. I'm going to level set and then I'm going to push the team and then I'm going to hold them accountable to deliver the results. And then that's when you sharpen your focus and you can go out and deliver results. So I, I just want to tell you guys, we are going to keep digging a little bit deeper as things come up, you know, with the values. But at the end of the day, the seven values of leadership are the way that we can assess. Like I said, right now I was struggling with some operational stuff and I'm like, okay, which value, leadership value is failing me? And it was accountability for holding my team accountable right now. And that's okay. We're going to take that and we're going to build off of it and then we're going to change it and fix it and deliver results. So I want to tell you guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode. I appreciate all the support. Make sure you guys, if you have any questions, you can ask on the Facebook group or send me an email at david at awakenthedeaderinside.com. I always appreciate emails. And then just to give you one last update, we are getting ready to launch our first online course. Uh, and I'm actually going to have at least the first module one that's actually free. So you can kind of test drive it and see how it, how it goes and kind of see how the modules are going to work and all that. But I'm really excited. I think this is going to be a great tool for you guys. So that should be released pretty soon. So I'll keep you updated. And uh, let's just make sure to have a great day. Make sure that you keep your focus. And I'll just leave you with this one last thing. You can do this. You can get past this wall or barrier that you're having. You got to change your mindset. And let's start with accountability. It's a good foundational tool to be able to look in the mirror and say, you know what? I'm not performing at the level I was or the level I should. So let's kick it into gear. Change your mindset. Come back in and then let's make it happen. I believe in you. Stay tuned for another episode. Always remember, awaken the leader inside.